there's only two things you can really do in situations like this. One is to get as most. Oh, I can't even speak. Number one is to get the the most amount of nutrients into you as possible, and the other one is rest and sleep. And I didn't get sleep last night at all, so I'm going to bed. A brief overview of how I've been feeling over the last few days. Okay. How have I been feeling? I haven't been feeling great. I haven't been sleeping. If I could imagine what a hangover is like, well then uh, I feel hungover. Chest is kind of hurting. I haven't showered since Monday. It's Thursday today. <laughs> I actually miss the fresh air. I have the door open and I'm gonna watch some vlogs while sitting out in the back garden. The next day. Guess who's back? Stay <laughs> I am back in work. Oh, that's very bright. Need a haircut though, my hair grows really fast. And I haven't had a coffee all week. So I'm gonna have a coffee. Anyway, I'm still I'm still kinda over well there's a little bit of kind of like residual snuffles left. Um, chest is a little bit <laughs> and I'm not gonna go on a run yet uh, I'll run in a few days maybe tomorrow actually I'm kind of just lying down and doing nothing all like all week <laughs> let's get the ball rolling again hold up jeez they look wrecked don't they that didn't really go down the plan I'm tired I got up, I, f I got up pretty early, felt really good. And I went to work and uh, I hit a wall, I had to come home. I haven't really been doing much. Uh, since I got home, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Oh God, I'm gonna have <laughs> Here's a fun fact for you. Pineapple has an enzyme in it called bromelain. And what Bramlin does is it has the ability to break down mucus and inflammation. It's also a digestive enzyme as well. So uh, I'm going to consume the whole lot of this. Okay, what I'm making for dinner is uh, I've butternut squash in the oven and I put with it some cumin and some salt and pepper and then some ras al hanout. And Ras Al Hanu is like a spice blend from Morocco that uh, Ras Al Hanu from Arabic to English means head of shop. So whatever the head of the shop is who owns the spice shop blends up all these spices to make this really fragrant powder. It's kind of like garam masala maybe. Mix it all around with olive oil. And oh my god. Throw some garlic into it as well. And that looks like it could be done. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and simple couscous. Couscous is actually just uh, really small balls of pasta. Get a bowl, some olive oil, and pull in and pull in a bit. Spoon. Mix all that around. Now get your orange and then squeeze the orange in to the couscous. And then all you need to do is just about cover the, uh, the uh, couscous. Alright, that's enough. Give one mix. So you can actually see here, it's not really covering it. And that's what you need to do. People make couscous too sloppy. Cover, then you'll have perfectly fluffy couscous. A few minutes later, 
and then Fluffer. So don't go, don't just like dig your fork in and then spin it around. Work from the top and take layers. See how fluffy that is. It's not clumpy or watery. It's nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. And there you have a Moroccan butternut squash, roasted garlic, couscous, orange couscous. And then I'm gonna make a soup with that bit, maybe. But if I was any way less sick, I would have made a better effort. I'll give you a taste test, I suppose. The next day. Stopping all up in the rain. Have a ball up in a way. Elev is a couple lines and a zebra with the heaters in your face. Oh, God. This has knocked me for six. So last night I basically slept from about oh, 11 until 12 today. <coughs> <coughs> so how am I actually feeling? Um, my chest is sore. I'm coughing as you can see. I am sweating at night times. I have to change my pyjamas every like... I don't know, it seems every four hours they're just ringing. I'm tired. My sore throat's gone. My dreams are weird. I'm frustrated. I have this constant ringing in my ears. Um, my nose is clearing up, actually. I'm getting better. It's just... It's taken forever. And I've stopped taking painkillers. So that's good. Actually... Thinking back, I haven't been sick. September 2015. <coughs> <coughs> what happened then was, I was at the World Championships in Beijing working, and I had to get the, I had to get a flight from Beijing to Algeria, and I was supposed to be working, but um, I started coughing up blood just before the flight. So, uh, I was feeling crap that night anyway. Um, I probably shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have flown, but I wanted to get home. I was dying. Not actually dying, but you know. So I left my inhaler in, uh, Beijing. Got to Algeria and couldn't, couldn't do anything. I couldn't walk without going into a coffin fit. I spent the night in Algeria. And then went from Algeria to Paris, Paris to Ireland. And my mum met me in the airport with some steroids and an inhaler. And by the time I got back to Ireland, I found my inhaler. So I thought to myself that I wasn't actually that sick. It was just inflammation, but uh, I was actually that sick. Uh, the x-ray showed a huge amount of mucus in my lungs. But I'm definitely not as bad as what I was in 2015. I think it's just a really bad cold that's gone into my chest. I've three weeks until a half marathon. Three weeks today. <laughs> I'm still planning on doing that half marathon. And I'm still planning on breaking 80 minutes. Anyway, I'm going back to bed. And thanks for watching. And subscribe down here. Give me a comment as well. I love talking to people who actually watch it. And that's me, over and out.